You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Game, and it's something to me on Twitter, the gaming dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn. Try not to get demonetized edition. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Yeah, we're on Ty's route. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, and while I think of it, if you're on the lookout for more options, a close friend of mine is always looking for extra hands. Oh, tell me more. He is an event promoter, mostly handles concerts and such, but covers the full spectrum as well. Ty reaches under the, reached under the counter and produced a business card, handing it to me. The name on the card read Lucas, and there was an address and phone number as well. If you would like, I can call ahead so that he is expecting you. I'd appreciate that. One moment, please. Ty produced a cell phone from under the counter and made the call. Lucas, my friend, how are you? Oh, I see. Although, perhaps it was for the best, especially considering recent events. I'm glad. You said yourself he was something of a liability, and on that topic, I might have just the thing for you. I have given your business card to a young man Diego brought in who was new, and to a young man Diego brought Diego brought in who was new in town and looking for work. Yes, the very same. Indeed, I understand your hesitation. It could not hurt to just speak to him, though, could it? Ah, excellent. I shall have him head your way when he is done here. You as well. Take care. Ty put down the phone on the counter and turned back towards me. I am sorry, that took a moment longer than expected. He'll be expecting you, so head on down on your own time. What was that all about? It sounds like drama. Alas, it is hardly my place to say. Perhaps Lucas will fill you in. If not, perhaps even Diego. Hmm. What did Diego have to do with any of this? I was sure that I would find out in due course. Anyway, thank you for your help. It is my pleasure. Now, seeing you are already here, will you be having a drink? I suppose that one drink couldn't hurt. Sure, just one, though. I wouldn't want to be tipsy after before meeting Lucas. Very wise. So what will it be? What do you recommend? Well, our pina coladas are the best in Woodcrest. Pina colada? Can't say I've had one before, but there's a first time for everything, I suppose. Hit me. Coming right up. Oh, excuse me. As Ty prepared my beverage, his hands were a flurry of activity. There was a blender involved, a pitcher of cream, pineapple juice, rum. I found myself completely lost by the entire process. Having finished, Ty placed the drink in front of me. This one is on the house. Considered a welcome gift, my friend. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you, Ty. Once again, it is my pleasure. I took a sip of my drink. Damn, it was absolutely sensational. I'm so glad I asked for your recommendation. I am most pleased to hear it. Now, may I ask, what inspired you to move to Woodcrest? Came to meet new people. Came to find love. To find love? Hmm, I see. Most interesting. Consider that not all possibility consider that not all opportunities will make their way to you. Sometimes you must give chase. You mean if there's somebody I'm interested in, I shouldn't expect them to come to me? Precisely that. I feel expect you will have many people to choose from, such is the case with a place like Woodcrest. Be sure not to let them slip through your grasp. Ty's words were oddly prophetic, almost as if he knew something I did not, but he had a point. If love is what I wanted to find, I couldn't expect it to fall in my lap. I had to actively pursue it. I took another sip of my drink as Ty readied another question. Where do you see yourself one month from now? Uh... Let's see. An impossible challenge, you say? How ambitious of you. I'm awfully curious to find out what form this challenge will take. I apologize for prying. I call it a curiosity of mine to ask those sorts of questions. Your answers to my questions are most curious indeed. I know not what the future has in store for you, but I hope whichever path that may be that may be rewards you with the happiness you seek. I took a final sip of my drink. I found myself a little heartbroken. It was finished. But I supposed it was a good time to move on. One second, y'all. It is water time. Oh, well, not water time. It is coffee time. My lovely partner is making tacos. It's going to be good. Thank you for the drink, Ty. It was delicious. As always, and once again, it was my pleasure. I think I'll head over and pay Lucas a visit. And I wish you the best of luck. Perhaps I will be seeing you again sometime soon. We'll see how everything goes. Indeed. Ty gave me a gracious bow as Diego once again entered the room. Oh, you're leaving already? Yep, I'll see you later, okay? Later. Take care. I punched the address on the business card into my phone to discover it was only a short walk from here. That seemed to be a running trend in Woodcrest thus far. I set off in that direction, my mind wandering back to my interaction with Ty. 
I seem very kind and perhaps a little unusual. He came across as unusually wise and intensely prophetic. Far cry from the kind of person I have expected to be running a bar. Woodcrest sure has no shortage of interesting people. I couldn't help but wonder if Lucas would qualify as well. Either way, I knew I wouldn't have to wait long to find out. Before long, I'd arrived at the address on the card, although I couldn't easily tell what building the business was in. I pondered this to myself for a while before, before help would come from an unexpected source. Hunter? Hunter, fancy running into you here. Dom, hey, what's up? I'm just headed into work. What brings you to this part of town? I've been given a lead on a job opportunity, but I can't quite find the building on the business card. Oh, let me take a look. Well, what do you know? That's where I work. Wait, seriously? Yeah, if you'd like, I'd be happy to introduce you. Really, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Anytime. Follow me. Dom led me to a small, mostly nondescript door and led me inside. Good thing, too. I'd have probably never found it on my own. We first made our way through some something of a communal space. As he walked, Dom greeted a number of, co of his co-workers, who returned his greeting before watching me with evident curiosity. We had passed through and arrived at a slightly ajar door with a small golden plate reading Lucas attached to it. Dom knocked on the door. Come in. Dom, what is it? And who is this? Lucas, this is a friend of mine, Hunter. He's here looking for work. That's right, uh, Ty phoned ahead and said I'd be coming. Right, I'd expected you, but not in Dom's company. I ran into him outside, so I figured I'd introduce the two of you. I haven't known him long, but he seems like a real stand-up guy so far. Hope you'll give him a chance. Thank you for your input, Dom. Please leave him with me. And break a leg, Hunter. Th thanks. Dom turned tail and left the room, leaving just me and Lucas face to face. The sour expression on his face made me a little uneasy. So, Dom recommends you and Ty referred you. For someone new in town, you've got some awfully useful connections. Well, I met Dom and Ty through a mutual friend. Ty suggested I pay you a visit. So he did. Diego, right? Huh? The mutual friend. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wasn't aware you knew him. Sort of. He's an acquaintance. Helps out occasionally on big jobs. I see. He also referred a worker to me a little while back. Did he? Who I just fired. Uh, oh. But, Ty's referral goes a long way. As his Dom's recommendation, considering he's, being, considering he's being one of my best workers, and seeing as I have a vacancy, you give me a shot? I'll give you a trial, should you want it. I appreciate the chance, although, do you need me to decide right away? Not right away, although I can certainly make use of you. Just keep me, just keep me in the loop. Okay, thank you, Lucas. I appreciate it. You know what we do? You do events, right? More or less. Security, catering, stage building, the works. Do you have any experience with any of those things? Looks like, no, it is coffee time. Oh, that's good coffee. Good cup of joe. I mean, not particularly. My last job was office work. I can sort of cook, and maybe I could do security. I won't get stabbed, right? Well, it hasn't happened yet. R right. It's fine. We can train you. So long as you work hard and show up, you'll, you'll do fine. Great. Well, thank you for meeting with me. I I've got your card. I'll let you know what I decide. Very well. I made my way back to the communal area where Dom was chatting with the others. When he noticed I'd returned, he split off from the others and approached me. How'd it go? Uh, he's got work for me if I want it. He's a little scary, though, isn't he? <laughs> Everyone says that at first. He ain't so bad, though. R really? Yeah, I was a little intimidated at first, too. But once you get to know him, he's actually a bit of a softy. Really? He sure doesn't seem like a softy. I know. Do right by him, though, and he'll look after you. I suppose it is true Ty thought quite highly of him, too. Oh, them? They're best friends. But they're so unalike! On the surface, maybe, but deep down, they get, they get each other. Just trust me, it isn't that he isn't that scary. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Dom. Anytime. So what do you plan on doing now? I might go and get some lunch. I'm kind of starving. Ah, uh, I wish I could join you. We've got a big gig this year we need to set up for. It's okay. I'll see I'll see you around another day, perhaps. Sounds good to me. See you then. See ya. I arrived at the food court and scanned over my options. I decided on a burger and went to my plate and went to and went to and went to place my order. While patiently waiting on my order, a nearby commotion had caught my eye. Over at the buffet, the lady behind the counter was scolding someone for something. I didn't understand a word of what was being said. But I did recognize the person she was scolding. It was none other than Diego, and his plate less resembled a meal and more of a, j a great food mountain. Once my order arrived, I made a small detour over to him. Overfilling your plate? I've told you you're. I've told you you're infamous. I'm told you're infamous for it. Hunter, you saw that? <laughs> I did. It was kind of hilarious. 
was not. Wait, so why sell plates if you're not allowed to fill them? Come on now, that's a little more than full. You charge me extra. Aw, oh, you poor thing. I'm gonna cheer you up by eating with you. Fine. Two of us found a table and sat down together. Diego immediately and voraciously dug into the tower of food. I take it you're on to lunch break? That's right. Diego didn't even finish chewing before he responded. What a charming man. So, where'd you go after Ty after you left Ty's? Uh, Ty recommended I check in with Lucas. You know him, right? Sorta. I've helped him out a few times. Kinda grumpy, isn't he? That's exactly what I was saying to Dom. Oh yeah, figured you'd run into him. He does kinda work here. Work there. Yep, Dom insists he ain't so bad, though. So he says. Oh yeah, I have something. I have something for you. Is it your penis? <laughs> Ding. Oh, excuse me. Diego reached into his pocket and produced a small red key. I got you a key cut. That way we don't have to share a, share a set. Oh, thanks, Diego. That'll be handy. Here, I might as well give you yours back then. I passed his keys back to him, which he promptly stuffed into his pocket before taking another huge bite out of his meal. So, what's next? I'm not sure. I've done everything I needed to do today. I might kill some time or maybe just head home. Why not hit the arcade? It's a great way to burn time. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, actually. Great. Despite having ordered a veritable truckload of food, Diego was already taking his last bites. Seriously impressive stuff. Well, I've got to head back soon. I don't finish for a while yet, so I'll see you when I get home. Sounds good to me. I'll see you later. Oh, those tacos smell incredible. One second, y'all. It is coffee time. It'll be taco time soon. All right. The two of us had gone our separate ways, and I had headed to the arcade as suggested, only to stumble upon a familiar face. Hunter, hey! Wow, I'm bringing everybody today. Oh, I hope that isn't a problem. Of course not. It's great seeing you, Axel. Likewise, so what were you planning on playing? Actually, I was hoping to get some more practice in on, in on Dance Master. I want to uh, learn to move like you do. <laughs> we can play together. I'd really enjoy that. Yeah, I bet you would like playing together, dirty boys. Like the previous day, we started on the easiest mode for a warm-up. I came very close to a perfect score this time. I had to admit, I was a little proud of myself. Following that, Axel gave me a few pointers and stood aside, wanting to watch me tackle a harder challenge on my own. The song he'd chosen started off fairly tame, but quickly picked up the pace. I was beginning to get a little puffed. You're doing great! Keep it up! I was just starting to get into the swing of it before the song once again sped up. I tried my best to keep time, but the game overcame me, causing me to trip over, right on top of Axel. Uh-oh. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't hurt you, did I? <laughs> no, it's fine. Really, it's no problem. Yeah, I bet he enjoy that. Yeah, he likes having guys on top of him. <laughs> Axel seemed embarrassed as I was, and I couldn't quite understand why. After all, I was, I was the one that fell on him. A few more awkward apologies followed before we both regained our composure. You did really good today, though. If you keep practicing, I think you'll surpass me. I strongly doubt that, but thank you for your encouragement. So, what's next? I was thinking of heading home, actually. No, oh, I live not too far from Diego's. Maybe we can head that way together. Yeah, that sounds great. Two of us arrived at the boardwalk and began walking back toward the suburbs, all the while chatting between ourselves. I can't believe he hasn't learned his lesson yet. Nope. She was really mad, too. I couldn't understand a word she was saying, but her hands were flailing all over the place. <laughs> I used to feel bad for Diego, but he keeps doing it. Now it's just kind of funny. Total sucker for punishment. It was entertaining to watch, though. Hey, you never told me about where you work. Oh, well, there isn't much to really say. We're sort of a wholesale supermarket, and I'm on the delivery team. We go around different places like restaurants and bars and deliver their supplies to them. Does that mean you deliver to Ty sometimes? Yep, most days. He's really sweet. And what about Lucas? D he does catering and stuff, right? Well, you've met Lucas already? Yep, he offered me a job today. Congratulations. Dom really likes him, but I think he's kind of scary. Diego said the exact same thing. Did Ty have any work for you? He did, although maybe less consistent than what Lucas had to offer. Oh, wow, what are you going to choose? Well, I didn't have time. I didn't have to choose anything just yet. I've got enough money on hand to last me a good while. So what's your plan, then? I don't know yet. I could treat this as a little vacation and just hang out with you guys and Diego for a while. Or I could pick a job and get started. I've got a few good options, at least, and it sounds like those job offers will be, a good, will be good for a little while anyway. I'm happy for you. Thanks, Axel. Hey? Yeah? Dom said he was training for a marathon at one point, didn't he? Only a half marathon, but yeah, he did pretty well, too. Better than I did. Oh, you participated, too? Yep, it was fun. Want to race to the end of this track? Oh, yeah! Ready? Go! 
It started off well with a small lead on Axel, but I overdid it early on only to have him pass me at the halfway mark. As I crossed the finish line, he was there cheering me on and clapping for me. You did great! Hey, what are you talking about? Ugh. You kicked my ass! You still did great! You're sweet, but totally wrong, Axel. That's not true. Well, I guess this is where we split up, huh? I guess so. It was good seeing you, Axel. Likewise, until next time. Until next time. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'm gonna go get some tacos. Bye bye!